All right, we are continuing when tragedy hits you, the the highlights. This part, I'm going to give a trigger warning because we will be discussing SA, CSA, and grape. In this part, I'm going to read a couple stories that Mike has written in the book in which he gives examples as to why you should be listening to God or this consequence will happen to you. I'm going to start off with a tamer story, then it's going to get progressively worse. I have a godly friend that loves the Lord. Sometimes my friend would take his boys dirt bike riding after church. One Sunday, as they were cruising on their dirt bikes, the son accidentally ran his motorcycle into his dad's bike and broke his dad's leg. The boys went flying, then crashed. They both had to be life flighted in a helicopter. Later, the father told me he should have not been riding out on the Lord's Day. So don't take your dirt bike out on Sunday at all. That's what I got out of it. It's going to get worse from here. Just another trigger warning. One day I was in a juvenile detention center and I met a young Christian boy we will call Tom. Tom had Christian parents that loved him. He was from a very good family. Tom would go over his grandpa's house and when his grandpa fell asleep, Tom would turn on the TV and watch cable adult consent. He kept this sin a secret and kept do on doing it. He gave much ground to Satan in his soul, and as a result, he would later choose to M a little neighbor girl. It's almost as if Mike Keller is trying to word it to say that because he was watching adult consent, that it led him to do the horrible thing to the little girl. Even though he says in the sentence he later chose. So it was Tom's fault. It was Tom's fault. The last example is the worst of them all. Just warning you again. Recently, I heard a story about a college-aged girl that had Christian parents. One evening, her parents said to her that they did not want her to go out that night, but to stay home. She threw a big fit and stormed out. That night, she was graped. A few weeks later, that same college girl made a list of the benefits that resulted from her being graped. He goes on to say, well, grape is horrible, horrible thing, but God can take a horrible thing and turn it into something good. Well, Mike Keller, I'm sure a lot of victims of grape would not appreciate hearing that. In fact, I'm sure some of them would say the opposite. And you're a garbage human being for even applying to look at the bright side of being assaulted like that. I'm done with this book.